Ugh. Well, that's going to be kind of annoying. Like, that's just going to stay blue like that. Anyways, it don't matter. I can handle it. But anywho, guys, um, so, tomorrow I'm probably going to just release two videos, you know, schedule them when I leave, but I wanted to just say, sorry there's no Saturday afternoon today, I was playing C-Man, and C-Man was having a, C-Man, he was having an existential quandary talking about why he doesn't exist, and he's like, he's like, you think I exist, and I'm like, yeah. I said it because he's upset and because I also believe in alternate universes, so yeah, I feel like in some universe out there, in like the, just, in the multiverse, somewhere out there, there is, there is a freaking, there is a thing that turns into, that is a fish that turns into a fucking man frog. <laughs> you know, in somewhere in the multiverse. Some people say, like, but Bugsy, like, since Chaos Lords can travel the multiverse, why would you never, sh why would your people never share it with, with regular humans? Because you guys would just go nuts with it. Y'all be bringing stuff over here, you be, you be taking all, like, all the stuff, like, movies, video games from other universes that wouldn't probably work on your PlayStation, whole bunch of stuff. A universe where everybody's rich. Yeah. That's not the point. Anyways, yeah, I didn't uh, play because Seaman was having an existential quandary and I had to calm him down. He was having a he was having an existential meltdown, is what was going on. But anyways, not even here for that. A lot of people were like I found out like a few people are surprised that there was a split between the adventure the adventure fans and the classic fans and the modern fans. Yeah. Okay, let me explain that. They're actually, it, it's been happening for a long time now because we got fans who love the adventure games. Again, you could probably want me in there, but me, I, just, I don't care. I mean, I know Sonic is constantly evolving and I'm evolving with the times too, like, uh, unlike a lot of people. You know, you just gotta evolve with the times. But, um, basically, these guys don't, and they want to just make another Sonic Adventure 3, and I'm just like, you guys can't have a Sonic Adventure 3. And they're like, no, Bugsy, we want a Sonic Adventure 3, and I'm like, no, you can't, and it's like, yes, you, we can, and it's just, it's horrible. I even got into it with this one dude, well, actually, I didn't get into it with him, he was just like, you know, I was like, you know, I always tell the story, but... They were like, I didn't tell everybody to make their own Sonic characters with their own characters, with their own, with their own fake stories. I'm like, you know, and when I think about that statement, I'm like, I never said, I'm just saying, no one, like, Sega doesn't want to make a Sonic Adventure 3, why can't someone else, why can't someone else that actually has know-how do it? Instead of just, instead of just whining and being like, no! Can't make a Sonic Adventure 3. Someone will. Someone has to know how capabilities and tools and tools uh in tools available to them to make a Sonic Adventure 3. Hell, it won't be it won't be like it won't I mean it'll probably look good, but it won't be like it won't be like triple A game good. But then again, I've seen I've seen some tests that people are working on with their own Sonic Adventure 3, and it is looking good. I mean, they got this shit running in, like, the Unreal Engine and a few other things that they're working on. It's like, I'm like, uh, yeah! But the thing is, the thing I want to tell you guys about is the fact that it, it, it's happened for a long time. Because, you know, like, people people love Sonic Adventure. A lot of the classic fans kind of checked out after, before, like, after Sonic Adventure. Probably after Sonic Adventure 2, because they were like, This is stupid, and the story is convoluted. It was never convoluted to me, because, you know, I'm the dude that reads comic books, so, uh, 
No story is convoluted except for Final Crisis. That shit. That shit you gotta get. That shit you gotta get the trade. You gotta get the trade to read that to even make a little bit of sense out of it. But no story is too convoluted for me other than that one. And then, okay, and here's a common one. Um, you know, there. You know, the the adventure fans are like, well, we don't like the boost. We like the momentum gameplay, and we like that. Bring that back. It's always that. They always want to bring that. It's always them saying they want to bring that back. I remember back in the day, uh, friggin' uh, Mario the Plumber, he was a troll, and he was even like, see, see, but this is like an ev this, see, but the momentum gameplay is like the evolution of the boost. You know, even though he was talking straight up nonsense like he normally does, he does have a point. I feel like, like most of Sonic's gameplay and adventure was kind of leading up to the boost, in a way. Even though you know, certain somebody keeps saying hentai quills, it's like really fucking annoying. It's like the dude doesn't even know hentai quills. You know, that's why I made that joke about Mario Plumber, like, warning the hentai quills up his ass because he keeps talking about it. Like, he's that one dude that, he'd be that one, because if he was actually genuine with what he was saying, he'd be that one dude that will freaking, will freaking talk shit about you for looking at hentai, but you know, you know, the way he'd be talking about it, he looks at it too. He just looks at it too, and he don't want no one to know. It's like, it, it, oh god. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> sorry, I ran into a lot of people like that in my, I ran into a lot of people like that in high school. Like, people, like, people, like, I even, like, when I was in the, set, when I was in, like, I don't know, first grade, third grade, some, some, somewhere in there, uh, I said I liked Eminem, and, you know, I liked Eminem because he was my favorite rapper back then. You know, he still kind of is. Everybody was laughing at me like, oh, yeah, I thought to myself, you know, I'm thinking about that now. It's like, what do you guys listen to? You know, then when I, got, then when I first played a Sega Dreamcast and had a crazy taxi, um, I basically got introduced to a lot of different uh, rock groups and stuff. It's beautiful. But not even the point. I'm taking a, I'm just taking a stroll down memory lane. But back to it, you know. And I, you know, the thing about the thing about some some adventure fans, not all, is that they're so they are so fucking mean to other to other parts of the fandom who just who who either just want who like who like mania. They call Mania an over-glorified ROM hack, which I thought was fucking stupid. You know, my friend, uh, um, Zachary, or as he's known, uh, Zealous Fox, he was with Mega, and they were, you know, he was, like, holding himself back, because he wanted to say some, because I, you know, I was watching that video, and I was like, oh, shit, you, you guys made Zealous mad, oh, shit. The thing is, I've never seen Zealous mad. I have never seen Zealous Mad at all before. And that was like, oh shit, you got him mad. I've never seen this man mad ever since I talked to him. He's always been cool in Comic Collective, but y'all made him mad. Fucking shit, y'all in trouble. <laughs> Anyways, you know, and, you know, and they just got, and they, you know, they keep on harping about. They keep on harping about freaking the modern gameplay and how it's not like the adventure gameplay. And I'd say, you know, a lot of people say the adventure gameplay is too very to narrow down. And they do have a certain point to that. But, you know, but the one thing that was kind of close to that was, uh, I would say, I would say Sonic 06, even though it, was, it, sucked, it sucks noodles and it fucking sucks and it fucking cucks. You know what I mean? It sucks. But, um, yeah, it, it was closer to the adventure style, but, you know, people didn't like it because it sucked noodles. Noodle dicks. But, you know, that's, yeah. Whatever. But, you know, 
But, you know, you're probably wondering to yourself, Bugsy, well, do you want Sonic Adventure 3? Well, when I think about it, it's kind of a hard question to really ask. Because I do, but I don't want, you know, the thing is, I don't want Sega to be tied down by the adventure formula just because a whole bunch of fans say, you gotta do it, you gotta do it, Zuka, you gotta do it. You know, I don't want people to be like, you know, holding the Zuka down and be like, boy, you better give us Sonic Adventure 3. We're gonna do things. We're gonna have, we gonna have someone dress up in the Amy Rose costume and you're gonna get weird boners or some, or some fucking weird ass shit. That'll go, that'll go with this that would go with this freaking uh, scene I'm trying to set. <laughs> but, you know, personally, personally, I just feel like they are trying to move, I think at this point, they are trying to move forward with Sonic. The The only reason they didn't move forward with Forces and Mania because Zuka wanted them to keep old levels and to it's an anniversary title. So that was bound to happen anyway. Because, you know, Generation set this president of, let's go back to old levels of Sonic. So there, so Mania kind of did that, and so did Forces. But, I started to remember the old, you know, the uh, interviews of a guy, of, um, what was, what was his name? It's one of those dudes, um, he said Sonic is just, it's just about going fast. I'm like, no, it ain't about going fast. Not all, it's all about, yeah, it's just, eh. But the real reason they put Classic Sonic in Sonic Forces so people, so Classic fans would be able to play, so Classic fans could play um, Sonic Forces. That's why Sonic, that's why, Sonic, that's why Classic Sonic doesn't have like a bigger, a big role. It was just the way I'm saying Hey, classic fans! We got your classic Sonic. Play him. That's why classic Sonic is such a non-entity in the story. But uh, I just felt like I needed to talk about that. But back to the adventure fans, um, you know, and I, you know, I dealt with the one I was talking about. Uh, we're gonna call him Blood, or we would call him Fud. You know, he was all, you know, he just kept. Yeah, I kept giving him examples, and he just kept denying them. And that one dude showed him Sonic Souls, and he just shut the fuck up. Like he didn't even respond to that or anything. He probably looked and was like, "Fuck," you know. And you know, the fandom is like split three ways when it comes to the games. But if you're looking at the fandom as a whole, we're actually split. I would say four ways, but. The fourth way is about for the people who want Sonic to have a story. Some people want it to be serious. Some people don't want a story. Some people want it to be like the Archie Comic Books, like a certain somebody that is talking to you right now. Others want others want it like Sonic M, where other people want it like Sonic M, and just with Sonic and the others fighting against Robotnik and other things. Yeah. I, and I wish, you know, I still do wish, and I keep saying that in every video I do when I talk about the fandom, is that I wish we could all come together at some point, because uh, because the one thing that binds us together is our love of Sonic. No matter what anybody says, that's the one thing that's keeping us all together, that's keeping us playing, that's keeping us writing, that's keeping us from making uh, all these Sonic projects, is our love for Sonic. And it just, it gets me, just... Kind of, it, it doesn't make me cry or anything. It just kind of hurts that all the Sonic fans just, we keep on fighting with each other for what? We all love Sonic. We just like it in different ways. You know, it's like that, um, it's like that song between, uh, Brandon Floss and Demon Tomato Dave, and Demon Tomato Dave. You know, we, you know, you know they just, they love Zelda in different ways. Brent likes freaking. Brennan Floss likes freaking, um, you know, classic 2D Zelda. And Demon Tomato Dave loves the 3D ones. I do too, actually. I like both, actually. But, you know. Again, but I'm always, I'm the dude that likes, you know, I don't care. 
what style the game takes. As long as it still has that kind of the spirit of the spirit of the old games, I'm fine with it. What I'm not fine with is like the adventure fans slamming on these other fandoms like like, oh, you guys like they just think, oh, adventure was so great and all this other stuff. You know, and the true Sonic spirit I kinda got disappointed with because they were look they they liked this one dude's thing talking about a kid hide my disappointment. And other people saying, you know, it's garbage and all this other stuff. They disappointed me because it's like, dudes, you ain't, like, it was just that moment of people just judging, you know, games when they come out. And they're, like, primarily adventure fans. I just felt like, do I think the Sonic fandom is fucked? No. I think it's more fractured than it is fucked. And it just keeps getting fractured by every new game that comes out, by every new thing that they show. You know, the adventure fans will always want Sonic Adventure. They don't care. They don't care that other people want to play these games. And we got the we got the classic Sonic fans that are anal about we got the classic Sonic fans that are just bitter that there is like no 2D Sonic. I mean, now we got Mania, so they're all happy now. They're all happy and compliant now. But a few years ago, when they, when, when, when people saw Generations, people, like, Sonic fans lost their shit. Some of us were like, whoa, classic Sonic's back, oh my god, my freaking child is coming back and saying hello. While others were like, Oh, classic, classic Sonic doesn't look like how he does in the game, in the old games. I'm like, okay. Uh, one thing that uh, Nicky Nutter, Nicky Nutterballs from the B from the BWF Network, you know, what I did from the Bubba Funkin' Network, um, you know, he was like. You know, so why does Sonic wear the belt buckle? You know, it's this is kind of indicative of other Sonic fans because they don't understand that the original Japanese art had had a classic Sonic with a little bit of a shoe buckle. You know, we Americans didn't know that until much later, but everybody lost their shit about it. And I was like, it's not that big of a deal, dudes. You know. You know the the adventure fans will always fight, and they'll always they'll always fight with this classic and modern fans because they just want they want to be represented too. When, but when I think about it, last year they did get a lot of representation, and even before Forces even came out, there were there were freaking there were freaking you know concerts uh, just with all Sonic Adventure music. They're like everything else. Like, they were getting a lot of representation themselves, but I guess they just don't. They just want a new game, but it's just not happening. And Zuka told, you know, Zuka and the rest of the Sonic team said that we just want to move forward with Sonic. And every, and every adventure fan lost their fucking heads that day. And I'm like, it's his choice, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you guys want another adventure game, but, you know, you guys said, but Mania and Forces went back to their anniversary games. And I'm like, and they're just, they're just mad, so I'm like, dudes, I know you want another Sonic Adventure 3, and even I'm making a video series talking about what I want for Sonic Adventure 3, but at the, but at the end of the day, I know it's not gonna happen, because the time for Sonic Adventure has passed. It is past. It is past a long time. It's times past. The moment the Dreamcast was done, and the moment we moved on from Dreamcast to, to um, to GameCube, PlayStation, and Xbox, we basically went. We basically just said. We basically just said. You know. I think they just basically say, you know, um, Sonic Adventure 3, Sonic Adventure 3 is never gonna happen. 
Man, if they brought UD Naka back, it would be possible. But I doubt they'll ever. I doubt they ever will. Personally, I've sort of given up on a Dreamcast too. That's why I just said, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna get my. I'm just gonna get a Dreamcast." And I used to have a. I used to have a Dreamcast, but I gave it to my sis. I gave it to my. I gave it to my other big sister, and her uh, kids. And they, it's in storage somewhere, and I don't even know where it is. And we're gonna be going to see them, and I trust me, they ain't gonna know where it is. But I need the. But if I ever do, but if we ever, but if we're there and we try to find it, I need those games back, man. I need those games back. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna get them back, but you know. I have Catcom vs. Marvel 2, and dude, if I could get that back and the other stuff, granted, with all the other stuff I'm getting, you know, in, a, in a, like a month from now, think how big my freaking Dreamcast collection would be. But, anyways, not even thinking about that. All I really had to say, and I know I'm taking a whole bunch of divergence and stuff. And all this other stuff. But listen to me. I need you to listen to me and listen to me good. The adventure fans ain't bad. They just want another they just want another adventure game. And some of them act like dicks because they really want it. But they gotta understand that adventure they have to understand that adventures that the Sonic Adventure brand had its day. They did. They had its day, they had its time, and it's just done now. There is no, there is, there is, there, you know, Sonic Adventure is no more. Yuji Naka is working at Square, Square Enix, and the newer Sonic team wants to do, wants to go in a whole different direction. There's nothing more, there's nothing more we can do or say. Or anything like that. So I need to tell you, adventure fans, it it's over. I'm sorry. I know, I know. See, I know seeing this little image right here. Hold on. I know seeing this little image right here makes you makes you wish that there was a Sonic Adventure Three. Makes you yearn for it, but it's not gonna happen because simply. Avengers time has passed. Maybe somewhere down the line, they, they might do a remaster of Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. And maybe they give you like a little hint after you complete both games in this like theoretical collection that they are making a Sonic Adventure 3. But other than that, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Adventure Sonic Adventure 3, even though it'd be a good idea for some, I think it's time has passed. And I know some of you don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. You all need to understand that Sonic Adventure is done and over with, and you all need to either just move on, or you can keep howling at the, howling at the dark, mad that us other Sonic fans are getting what we want and you guys don't. But whatever you do, you just need to understand. You just need to be. You need to be one thing: respectful to the other parts of the fandom. Because I understand you're mad. I understand you want Sonic Adventure, but it's never gonna happen, man. It's done. It's time has passed. And I, you know, it's never gonna. And even if they do make it, it's never going to meet up to your expectations of what you want. Hell, I want a gigantic open world Sonic game, and Sonic Adventure seems like the perfect place to do that. But, but think about it this way: it's not going to match your expectations because whatever expectations you have set for this game, that's never coming out. This theoretical Sonic Adventure Three, it's never going to meet your expectations because, like I said, the most of the Sonic team that worked on Sonic Adventure Three is gone, you know, and the people who, and like the main guy who was the father of Sonic. He's also gone working for Square Enix. So who else can do Sonic Adventure 3 the way you want it? 
And even if it does come out, it's not going to be this perfect little masterpiece. You guys are going to discard it like people discarded ukulele. That's the truth. Because it's not going to meet your it's not going to meet these high standards you set. And that's the real truth. You whine, you guys whine and moan about Sonic Adventure 3, but it's not going to happen because one all the all the old members of Sonic Team are gone. Two, two, um, two. It's never gonna meet these high standards you set. I'm gonna keep making my little series of what Sonic Adventure Three is gonna be, what it would be. But for the rest of you, for the rest of you, I just think it's not gonna happen. And the two reasons I put are there. And if I can take a minute to talk about another thing. Donate to, donate to Operation Razor. Because honestly, because honestly, I want to see them go. I want to see them try and make it. I think you guys should donate to that. If you want another Sega console, personally, they're working hard from what I've been hearing. And even though I may not agree with certain things that you may be saying on Twitter, I feel like the man's boasting too, way too much on something that isn't even remotely done yet. There go, that's what a lot of people do. They count their chickens before they hatch. But I do believe Razor should at least have a chance to show what it really can do. At least. Olivia Games need to Olivia Games needs to at least try a little bit. You know, they at least need a little bit of help. So if you want to donate to them, I'll leave a little link to you. I'll leave a little link for you guys. You can donate if you want. I'm not forcing you. I'm not saying I'm not saying fucking donate or I'm gonna shoot I'm gonna shoot your dog I'm gonna shoot your dog and rape your jigglypuff. So, so if you want to, it's there. And I'm only saying this because people, like, when you ask, when you give the option to donate, people just nut the fuck up. You guys know that? Like, do you guys even remember my old video against, uh, about Forever World? That was, like, a long time ago. But I got mad at him because the whole donation thing, um, basically, when he was like, well... You know, well, he's like, well, you know, um, you know, z like freaking Toonami Adrim have been doing this for years and he don't need money. You know, he didn't know that the animation, like, he knew the anime, like, he knew the donation was optional, but he still acted like a stupid idiot about it. And that's the kind of thing I don't like. You know, if the donation is optional, you don't have to donate if you don't want to. But you're just trying to you you're showing you're showing your ass. You're showing your ass by basically just bitching and moaning about something that's optional. That's the that's the thing that really just put a sour taste in my mouth when it came to Forever World. Among other things. God dang you know what? You know what? I'm gonna talk about that battle for a minute. You know, I used to be like, okay, it's all about the stats with Dead Metal, but since people like Gohan Team Fighter and a few other people and even Forever World, they just kind of turned me off from enjoying Death Battle in the way I used to. Because they just, they think too hard about something that isn't non-canon. And you know, what even hurts me more is future Gohan, he's like, well, Death Battle is a final nail in the coffin. No. You all take it way too seriously. I'm sorry, I had to talk about that for a minute. Like, Jesus! The amount of people who take Death Battle way too seriously, I can fill a fucking... I can fill a fucking football stadium about as wide... about as wide as... about as big as New York into one stadium because all of them take Death Battle that seriously. But I'll, but I'll save that for another day. But Jesus. And they always blame Death Battle. Their favorite anime character loses. Like, 
well, we, well, these characters would win because one of, they just bargain. It's, it's, it's so dumb. <sighs> oh well. Oh well, folks. I'll see you. I'll see you a little bit later. Sorry that there's no Saturday afternoon and today. I woke up late. I was playing Dang and Romp all night, so I didn't really get a much. I didn't get a lot of sleep. I mean, I kind of did. I did a little bit, <laughs> but I was playing Dang and Romp all night. And you know, I was at. Uh, you know, for those of you that have played Chapter Four, you know what I'm talking about. It was a very emotional. It was a very emotional class trial, and I was just like, I don't want to do it. So, yeah, that's what was going on with me last night. So, I'll see you guys I'll see you guys later. And may I'll talk about Death Battle fans. Um, probably that'll be the next thing I'll talk about that'll be scheduled. Because, you know, the thing about Death Battle fans and me is I'm just like, I'm not going to take this... I'm not gonna take this stupid. I'm not gonna take this seriously just because y'all want to be gigantic babies about your characters losing. You know, I got into I got into a Gohan team fighter. And I tried to bury the hatchet with the dude, but he's like, you know, I guess I insulted him way too much, and he's like, no, I'll never be cool with you. Even though I felt like he took he took the whole. Like, like, I'll say this, though. I'll say this and leave it at that. I feel like you all took Goku versus Superman way too fucking seriously. God to... God damn to all the people who did that shit. Y'all need to calm down. It is just a show on the internet. It doesn't really matter. Because if they got the current writers of Superman and Toyotaro and freaking Akira Toriyama telling you who would win, you'd still be like, you'd still doubt it. You would still doubt it. If the creators told you themselves, you guys would still doubt it. That's all I gotta say. And I will elaborate on that. I will elaborate, I will elaborate on that next time. I will elaborate on that next time. So, I'll see you guys later. Also, before I get out of here, I want to say one thing. Don't remember Chaotix? You know that little card game? Freaking, freaking those cards go for like... Those cards go for like a thousand... A thousand dollars on eBay since it's so fucking ran. Like, Jesus! Yeah, I used to dabble in a little bit of it too. <laughs> like the thing I would do. Uh, I'll tell you guys later. I don't want to make this too long. But yeah. So I'll see you guys later.